What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the ultimate cheat tool in Revit. So why do I call this tool a cheat tool? Well, it's because it allows you to make all of your errors and mistakes magically poof, disappear. So uh, the tool in question is the, uh, is the line work tool, and this tool allows you to, well, change the line work inside of your model. Uh, now, I must admit, even when I did learn Revit and when I was working in Revit for a couple of years, I still didn't know about this tool. It, so it, it was sort of kind of hidden away. And then when I found out about it, I was so amazed at the power and capability of this tool and how many problems it can solve. So even if you do know about this tool and have used it before, uh, in today's video, we're just going to be exploring all of the little different applications and methods where you can can use this tool in order to well help you out on your projects. So even if you know about it, perhaps you're going to learn about some new application of this tool that you perhaps haven't heard or haven't thought about before. Uh, now, before we get into that video, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. That's going to be the first link. Just the video. Uh, there I have all of my courses. So I make these Revit courses where I take the extra time to explore all of the vast Revit topics in depth. Uh, I have over a hundred hours of content and the topics range from beginner to intermediate to advanced level users. So if you're serious about learning Revit, please check it out. Uh, also, if you want to check out all of my Revit project files, I have hundreds of files, uh, obviously, and all of those can be found on my Patreon page, which is the second link just below the video in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I make multiple tutorials. And make sure to like this video. It helps me out. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Uh, now, I'm just going to go straight here to Models, go to New, and for the template file, I'm just going to be using the default metric template that comes with Revit. Uh, now, as soon as Revit opens up, let's create just a simple house to start demonstrating how powerful the Align Work tool can be. So what I'm going to do is just go here to the wall tool and then let's place a wall. So I'm just going to go I don't know, like that and create a simple outline of a house, something like this. There we go. Uh, the wall that's being used is the generic 200 millimeter type. We can go with that. And then let's add a roof above this. So for the roof, perhaps go to the 3D view. Uh, obviously this is a little bit too high, so we're going to trim that uh, later on or right now, let's set that to level two, there we go. And now let's add the roof. So for the roof, I'm just going to go here to roof by footprint, set it at level two, hit yes. And then I'm just going to use pick walls. Uh, and then we can use an overhang of something like 700 millimeters. You come close to the wall, see how it kind of shows that overhead line. You can hit the tab key once to select the chain of walls. If we just deselect this, let's see. There we go. So you just hit the tab key once, selects the entire chain. And let's say that we don't want this notch here at the roof. So we want to extend that. So we can just use trim and extend to corner to fix that up. There we go. Hit finish. And we have a nice little roof. Now let's say that we want to display this roof in the floor plan view. So if I just go back here into level one, I might want to have an outline of the roof showing basically, uh, well, whatever we have there. Well, one of those options would be to go here to the properties panel, scroll down and find the underlay settings and set that to level two and then hit apply. See, now it shows the roof. Now the downside of this approach is, well, for one, uh, it, well, it includes all of these lines here that you might not want to see. And also if you have anything else in level two, it's going to display that as well. So if I go here to component and place a desk here or something like that, here in level one, it's going to display that desk and we don't want that. So a way of fixing this is to use the align work tool. You simply go here to the modify tab and then you go to the view panel and you go to the align work tool. 
you select that and then you select all of the edges now before you start selecting the edges of this roof make sure that the align style is set to the well appropriate line style now this is an overhead line well it's obviously over our heads in the floor plan view so let's use that line style and just go and select all of the edges now you see it's not really uh, drawing over those edges it's replacing them with different lines just like this now we can hit the escape key a couple of times and when we go back to the properties and turn the uh, underlay setting to none and hit apply as you can see everything is gone apart from these lines now we can still use those lines to select the roof see when I select that it shows basic roof here so it does allow us to added that roof because while well, that's part of the roof it only shows here in level one so that's really useful now you can select that roof go into edit footprint and then you can change whatever you might want to change I don't know if I create like a small extension here just like that I can change that roof that way now something that will happen in that case is as you can see this line will kind of break up to this point and then you would have to readjust that so that's something to keep in mind uh, it is going to no let's go back a few steps it is going to allow you to well show the roof and if you make some modifications to that roof it will show that as well uh, but uh, the the downside is uh, if you make any modifications it will not uh, show all of the added lines so just something to well to keep in mind and uh, moving forward you can use the, uh, the this tool in order to fix or get rid of some ugly lines that you might not like so for example uh, let's say that here uh, for uh, this um, for for this building we want to add a floor below so I can just go here to architecture I can go to floor I can go to pick walls just go like this hit the tab key to select the you know, the outline hit finish and now if I go to the 3d view we have that floor now the downside of this is the fact that this line here shows kind of the uh, where the uh, wall stops and where the floor starts in, in some cases you might not want to show this and in a lot of cases where you have overlapping things Revit might include the lines that you don't want to see well you can easily fix those by going to the modify tab going to the view panel and using the line work tool now in this case when you want to get rid of existing lines instead of using one of these line styles you have this invisible lines now this will make those lines invisible now you have to click a couple of times and you might have like edges like this uh, but in the end it is going to get rid of the entire line here we have to fix this and this as well and so on so you do have the ability to get rid of lines just like that also you can use it to accent some lines so for example if you want perhaps to exaggerate a certain line you can always uh, just go here to turn off the 10 lines first then go to the line work tool and you can use perhaps the wide lines and you can select any line on this model and as you can see it's going to accent that line now also uh, when you place a line it will have these little grip points so it allows you to actually change that line see so you can just place it in only one segment now the downside is it's a little tricky to use see now I have this line here now if I click there it has a line from there to there but if I want to edit this one I would have to click there again again just using the align work tool if you hit the escape key a couple of times you cannot really select that line itself so you can only edit that through the line work tool by clicking on it and then you can kind of readjust that so it's not really perfect it does give you some versatility but it's as I said it's not perfect so then you can go like this but now that line below is gone see so it can be a little annoying especially when you're getting started and you don't really understand how exactly uh, this line works now speaking of the line styles that appear over here you do have some limited number of lines but you can actually customize this so the line styles that appear here for the line work tool uh, they are the same line styles as everything else in Revit so you can at any point go to the manage tab uh, you can go to additional settings you can find line styles and then you can expand this menu and create your own lines you can go to perhaps here new subcategory you can call this one I don't know red line and then you can make it red 
just like so. Let's make it a little bit wider so we can see it easily. Hit apply, okay. And now if I go back to the modify tab, go to the view panel, go to the line work tool, I can just find that red line, see? And I can apply it wherever I want. So it's a great way that you can kind of customize your model and do something that perhaps doesn't look, uh, wouldn't be uh, available any other way. Now be careful here in the 3D view. See, when you apply those uh, that line work tool, it's going to appear in other views. So uh, if you perhaps change the perspective a little bit, it might look really, really odd. Uh, now don't worry about it. You can actually fix this fairly easily by going back to the line work tool and instead of line style, instead of setting it to any of these, you have the by category option. Now by category basically means that it's going to go back to the original line that's specified by the category. So if I just click back here, well, it just back went back to nothing, or in this case, it went back to that line that's specified by the roof category. So you can get rid of all of these lines. If you don't like them, you can just go back to original by setting them back to by category. Now, one additional um, uh, method for using something like this would be, again, uh, to do with roofs. But I'm just going to delete this roof and let's get rid of the table as well, as we don't need it. And now let's create a flat roof. So what I'm going to do is just go to the architecture tab, uh, go to the roof tool, uh, roof by footprint at level two, that's okay. And then I'm just going to use the pick walls and uh, let's not use overhang. And then also let's turn on the off the defined slope. So I'm just going to select all walls. And as you can see, the roof is now on the inside of the building. That's okay. Uh, now I'm just going to hit finish just like that. Uh, let's select, uh, let's actually select the roof and bring it down a little bit, make it a bit more realistic. So let's just give it a one, I don't know, like 800 millimeter drop. There we go. And for this roof, uh, usually your flat roofs are still going to have some slope and you're going to be uh, achieving that by using the modify sub elements. So what I'm going to do here uh, is just add a point here in the middle, just like that, select that point and let's bring it down by, I don't know, something like 200 millimeters. Now, obviously this isn't the correct approach for this, but, uh, and if you want to see the correct approach, I actually have a video on that. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to leave it somewhere in the links or in the cards so on so you can find it there but anyways uh, what you can do now is for for this this obviously looks good if you go here in level one uh, create a section through this uh, roof if I open up that section it will show that drop which is obviously something that you want to see uh, but sometimes in the 3d views you don't want to show that you want to have perhaps a cleaner 3d view well for something like that I would use uh, the uh, the um, uh, the line work tool so we just go here to the line work tool uh, also there is an LW shortcut for that and then I would just set the category to invisible lines and just make all of those disappear. So still in the section, we do have the accurate look, but in the 3D view, it's gone and it looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So uh, that's another approach where uh, this tool could be really, really useful. And finally, well, this might be the least impressive feature, but it can be useful nevertheless. So let me show you. Uh, sometimes when you load in geometry that isn't native to Revit, uh, it can look terrible. And let me demonstrate. Uh, even here, uh, if I just go to insert and to load family, uh, in the family library under entourage, here we have some elements. And let's take a look at this beetle. Volkswagen Beetle and let's just go to architecture component and let's just place it like so. There we go. Perfect. Uh, now, if I go to the 3D view, you're going to notice that it looks well like this. It looks horrible. Uh, it has all of these lines uh, all over it and that's because this wasn't generated as Revit uh, geometry and that's why it, well, it looks like this. Uh, now, uh, this is one of those things that you can uh, fix and perhaps turn on the ambient shadows. There we go. Uh, so this is something that you can fix by going to uh, your uh, modify tool and then using the line work tool. And I can just use invisible lines 
and click here and as you can see it's just going to hide those uh, just a little bit it's just going to look a, a tad bit better it's definitely not going to look uh, perfect and these are these rpc families that are generally made to be viewed in a realistic mode and to look good in realistic mode see uh, but still if you want them to be um, just halfway uh, representable in shaded mode or something like that uh, or the hidden uh, or the hidden line mode view mode uh, in that case I do suggest you use the thin lines it just hell or the the line work tool uh, yeah uh, it just looks a little bit better so there you go that's just one additional tip so that's my favorite cheat tool in Revit. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section below, did you know about this tool? Have you used it? And uh, what are some of your kind of uh, comments? Do you have any other applications that I did not mention in this video? Do you have any tips or something like that? please tell me in the comment section. Also, please check out my courses on my website, balkanarchitect.com. That's the first link in the description. And if you want all of my Revit project files, that's the second link in the description. It takes you to my Patreon page. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back with another tutorial in a few days. Have a nice day.